Yo, what's good to everybody? Smitty here, Amazing Crosses. Uh, welcome to another uh, late, actually early morning. This is like 5.30 in the morning. I'm just kind of uh, backed up with rackets since I came back from overseas. Um, so I kind of want to talk about that a little bit. Guys, um, just how it all happened. Um, I know I, you guys saw the, the live. It wasn't a great video. I wish I, I wish I had a better camera crew. However, it is what it is. But I want to talk a little bit about what happened. And um, so, uh, story was, if you guys haven't heard, I did a master class uh, on the 26th of January. Yes, the 26th of January. Um, and it was a great time. Um, a lot of people came, I think it was around close to 20 people, I think. Uh, it was a sold out event. It was very packed up that day. So, um, we arrived around 9. The camera people was getting things set up. Um, and then um, I went on my thing. So I worked on the uh, Head TE uh, 3300 or, or 3300 or whatever. One. And um, we had a great time. Um, they asked about a little bit about my, you know, my history about about tennis stringing and stuff like that. A lot of people were very engaged. Um, I'm, I was really surprised of the lack of. And I, I don't blame them, or I don't know why it's not a common thing. And we have the same problem here in the U.S., don't, don't get me wrong. However, over there, it seems like they were more appreciative of uh, what I had to say versus here. Not that you guys don't care, but it seems like, um, you know, everybody has their niche. So, not too bad. Um, uh, sold out event. Uh, straight up, I got paid around close to 200 bucks or something like that for my time um, it, it was a great experience I mean a lot of people I sold a lot of items um, I brought some stuff over that, that I'm currently wasn't using so um, that was a, a, a big a big seller for us was oh yeah, not a big seller but it was a big thing for us because it helped pay for some of the trips um, accommodations were taken care of obviously but the plane ticket and stuff like that and it was just for me I, I, I brought my whole family so um, there was a lot of expense, so you know, help. Thank you so much for the people who uh, supported me by um, buying racket, doing pre-orders, strings, blah blah blah, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera. It, it was a great. Um, what else? So that was in the morning. Um, you know, very a lot of engagement. We had somebody. We had we had a uh, we had, most of the people who wanted to come were people who were interested in in stringing and wanted to become stringers and do a, a side job or whatever. Another one was a uh, tennis pro, and she um, she is a pro for a junior. She actually she just got back from the the AO or the Australian Open because her junior was playing at the, the junior championship. Um, of course, uh, unfortunately they lost um, first round, so they came him all early. So she was like, you know what? I'm gonna go to this class that I um, you know they're having ahead, and I think she learned a lot because um, she she's very in tune with. Um, the progress of tennis, especially in Thailand, they, uh, in Europe, I know they do a lot of uh, racket tech, and you know they, they're very more they're very concerned about the well-being of the racket technology and strength. However, um, in Thailand, not so much. She she, she want to bring a program like that. She um, I think she lives outside the city. I, I, I know she's not in Bangkok. She's probably in the province, um, a couple hundred uh, clicks away. Um, but she came all the way to Bangkok. I had two or three that flew or, or drove far distance to come check out my workshop so thank you so much for that Ooh, that was I, I, I expected to be maybe um you know two three hour long like two hours max but it ended up being like four hours and I was I didn't realize I was hungry we took, we took about three different breaks and um it, it was fun um right after that I went to another um event that they they, they asked me to appear for which is a um um, Yonex, which was um, an interesting ride. Yonex was was fun because that was unexpected. They heard about my master class in uh, in Bangkok, so they're like, "Hey, why don't we invite this guy out to uh, to Yonex and, um, and and picked his brain?" Especially that night, it was Naomi Osaka um, playing for the finals because it was us. Um, it was uh, Saturday night. Uh, and Naomi Osaka won, so it was like kudos to us and Yonex team Yonex. So it was a great. Um, we had one person who came in for the workshop, uh, kind of a one-on-one. -on -one. I taught him how to string a racket and stuff like that, and it was fun. Um, 
great highlight for the Yonex one is I got to use the, the ProTech 8 or the PT8 Deluxe and it was an amazing, amazing uh, machine. Uh, the reason is, is like, it, man, it, it does a 10 minute warm up start, uh, start up early in the morning, so it just calibrates. Very tedious. Um, what else? It, it, everything just works so well. Um, the way it clinks, the way it clanks, um, it, it, it was sound. Everything was composite, so it was smooth. Um, you hear my machine when I'm using it right now, it's like the ambient is it's out of control compared to the ProTech. Look. Mm -hmm. You hear that? Everything is like clink. You hear that? That's just too much. That's too that's too loud of a machine. Like why? Like why? Uh, the ProTech was just nice, soft, and quiet. So I was I was very happy about that using that. Um, what else? So that day was gone. I ended up going on my vacation after that. And then after that, I was introduced to another person from Wilson because I was trying to get a hold of the Wilson team. And they actually had an ATP Challenger. And actually, literally the last day before I left, um, uh, job Top Gun uh, in, in um, Rama Garden in Bangkok. They had the Bangkok Open, which is an ATP Challenger tour. And I got there. Tip Sarevich was there. And I got a string of racket. Um, met the, the local tennis pro, talked business a little bit, and it was great. And he and the great thing is we, when we, we talked, it was universal. They knew like how in demand stringing was and how important it was. Like he, he said, he gets crappy strings, uh, string jobs all day from from either competitors or whatever. He said it's just not up to par. How other people go because it's a cheap alternative. Same thing we get here. So um, that was kind of my recap for the Bangkok trip. Um, I had a great time. If anybody has any questions, put it in the comment below. Um, this is my vision in the future is to do traveling and, and streaming at the same time. But besides that, guys, peace out.